Hey, it's John Wesley Brooks, and I've got some exciting information to share with you. If you're a first time home buyer and you're out there looking for a home or considering looking for a home, where do you begin? The last two years have been insane in this real estate market. First step, find a realtor like myself. Second step, well, we gotta get pre-approved. We gotta walk through the whole process. My family and I have put together a first time home buyer's guide that is perfect to kind of walk you step by step through the whole process. All right, so we've got through step number one, which is contacting a lender, getting pre-qualified. Well, here's a lot of confusion for first time home buyers, as well as someone who hasn't bought a house in a long time. What is the difference between pre-approved and pre-qualified? Well, pre-qualified is simply, hey, you went online, you fill out your application, boom, they said, yes, you're approved for $350,000 house. But really, we need to be pre-approved based upon the lender has done all the due diligence, and this is where it kind of gets dawning, you have to submit all your two years of tax returns, your income statements, just all your personal information. And then once you get to that part of the process, really it's a lot more fun after that. We get to go look at houses and we get to, hey, make your dream come true, buy a house. So now we've been working together. You have gotten pre-approved. We've looking at houses, started looking at sizes of rooms, family rooms. You go to a furniture store, you fall in love with this amazing couch along with all sorts of furniture. You put it on credit and then of course your wife needs a new car and you go ahead and you finance a new car ah that's not what you do when you're buying a house that can certainly mess everything up don't ever ever do that so did you hear me don't buy anything on credit in between the time that you apply for a mortgage until we actually close on a house hey after closing buy a brand new car you can finance all the furniture you want but it'll really mess up the entire process and I've seen it right before closing where somebody lost their dream house and could not close and I do not want so I know I went through a lot of that pretty quickly but again our first time home buyers guide has 23 points that just go into the mortgage part of the process everything from what is interest from loan to value information ratios to origination process closing cost, prepaid, taxes, insurance, the whole big shebang. It talks about all of it in more detail than this video could ever inform you on.